It's a deal breaker, okay? to share welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new I am here today with yet another new video today's video is going to be my honest true <laughs> opinion of my Louis Vuitton Kipa 55 all right so let's get right to it okay so I've had this piece for about two years maybe I'm going to start off with the pros and then I'll get to the cons. And then my overall honest opinion and rate of this bag. All right, so the pros of this bag, it is versatile. You can hold it as a top handle, which I probably would not do if it's going to be fully packed. Or you can carry it as a over the shoulder bag. All right, another pro of this bag is that the strap, the big strap is adjustable and it's also detachable. So you could just take these little things off the sides, just like that, really easy. And then the bag is just simply a duffel bag. But I always keep the straps on so I can have an option of when I wanna hold it how I want to without having to add or remove anything. Another pro about this bag is it comes with a lock and key so you could lock it for your protection. Most luggage pieces come with a lock and key, but all luggage pieces from Louis Vuitton comes with a lock and key. And it also comes with a little luggage tag, which I love. And I just got that hot stamped with KT for Kia Tache. The next pro about this bag is the print. So I got the Louis Vuitton um, key paw from the men's store instead of the regular Louis Vuitton store. And that's why it has the black lining and the silver hardware because it's actually a men's piece, which is also why I added the pink for a little bit more of a feminine touch. But I actually like this one. It's called Madagascar or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, don't beat me up about it. Since it's actually a men's bag and the black could actually look a little bit masculine, but black is actually one of my favorite colors to wear. If you know me or if you watch my videos, you already know that because I say it all the time. But anyway, I prefer this print, this specific one over the regular monogram with the regular Vichetta because this is more carefree. If you know Louis Vuitton, then you already know that. I don't have to worry about any water spots. I don't have to worry about any darkening or any type of spots, period, stains, any of that. And that's what I love, especially when you're on the go and traveling. Obviously, if you want this bag or you have it, it's for travel or just being on the go. So you're going to come to a point in time where you may be in a bit of a jam or a mess and your bag could get ruined or not ruined but messy so this one is a little bit you know more laid back and easy you don't have to babysit it as much but okay and then also i chose size 55 because that is the biggest size that you could get and still use it as a carry-on for most airlines okay again 55 the biggest size that you can get and still use it as a carry-on for most airlines all right, moving on. Another pro, the zipper is really easy access. It slides and glides really easily. And there's a lot of room in this bag, as you can see. There's so much room, so much room. It fits a lot. 
there's been a couple times that I've took this bag on, on a trip with other people and they're like, how are you going to fit all of your stuff in here? Or what? You only came with a little bit of items? No, I actually came with the whole wardrobe because it fits a lot. You just got to know how to pack it. And that'll be a separate video. So if you're interested to see how I pack this bag or how to properly pack this bag, comment down below and I'll film that separately. All right, so inside you have a little back flat pocket which is quite big it's like about the same size as the little pouch that comes with a neverfull so you can probably fit the same items that you would pack in that and then everything else is just big open space and it's actually this pretty purple or bur not burgundy kind of like a burgundy color on the inside it's the same color that the Louis Vuitton Melly is on the inside and um, monogram and some other bags. We don't need to get into that, but yes, that's the color. It also has this little uh, key ring right there, this D-ring to for easy access to your keys or whatever you need to put there. And yeah, then I just have my uh, keys in here for my lock set. So yeah, that's that. Before we get to the cons, another pro about this bag is it looks absolutely beautiful. It's just such a stunning, beautiful piece. I absolutely love it. I love the black on monogram with the silver hardware. So pretty, love my little touch of pink there on my hot stamped luggage tag. Oh, and also it comes with this little band to where you can like hold these two top handles together. I never use that, but yes. All right, so let's move on to the coins. Honestly, I only have one coin for this bag, just one, but it's so big, it's a deal breaker. This bag is extremely hard to carry when fully packed. I'm talking back ache, neck ache, just over it, going through the airport trying to travel. So if you don't particularly care for that or if you plan on packing this bag fully, I do not recommend this bag as a luggage piece. I recommend a roller piece. I don't have any of the Louis Vuitton roller luggage pieces yet, but that is next on my list because I've been traveling so much and this has been the bag that I've been using. And y'all, I have been in so much pain. It's just such a hassle. I mean, you could check this bag and then you won't have to worry about carrying it through the airport. But again, if you're gonna get expensive luggage pieces like this i do not recommend checking it that's why i got this size because i can still use it as a carry-on do not check any luxury items do not do that it's just not wise at all but yeah so it's such a struggle lugging this around like it's okay to carry it for a little bit but when you're literally just going from the uber to the airport to your gate uh, to the hotel, to uh, Airbnb, whatever. During your travels, it's so hard. It's just so hard. Then when you're getting on the plane to get to your seat, you're like all bumping people <laughs> walking down the aisle. I mean, unless you're in first class, you don't have to go that far, but I've been flying coach for now. But anyway, so yeah, you're like all, your bag is just like all going like this from side to side and it's just so embarrassing you're all hitting people and then it's a struggle getting it up in that overhead compartment it's just you know it's just a lot so that's the only con is it's really heavy and it could be a pain in the butt when you're traveling especially by yourself other than that this bag is it's really cute <laughs> no but i do like it overall I would say that I do not plan on selling this bag. It's something that I want to keep forever. I may downgrade it, like push it down a little bit. I may not downgrade it. This bag may get demoted. That's what I meant to say. Demoted to just like a weekender. Like I would just use it like just going for a nice weekend cabin stay or something really light where I don't need to pack as much. It might get demoted to just being used for that only unless I had the rollers when I do get the roller set um, I can put this on top of that and that makes it a lot easier a lot easier to put it on top of a roller set and carry it that way but as far as just using this for your travel your weekend trips or whatever and also you can pack more than just a weekend trip in here but yeah as far as just using it 
uh, primarily and solely as your travel piece I don't recommend it I'm sorry I just don't um, like I said it's nice to look at it's really cute fashionable trendy all of that but if you don't want to be in pain then don't do it sis don't do it out of a 10 I give this bag a 7 I give it a 7 okay and that's my honest opinion and that's because of the con the con is, is uh, even though it's only one coin is so big like it's important especially when you're traveling you don't want to be uncomfortable you don't want to be stressed out you don't want to be in pain but i still love this bag and i will never ever sell it it will be a forever piece of mine like i said it is such a beautiful bag it does hold a lot and i could use it um for like a weekend bag or whatever or you guys i can hire an entourage to carry my bags for me hmm. there's a good idea no but seriously yes yeah. so out of a 10 i give this bag a seven all right if there's anything else you want to know about this bag comment down below and i'll get that in my i'll try to get that in my next video when i show you how to pack this bag um if you have this bag how do you feel about it tell me below if you are wanting this bag how did this video shift your wants for this bag or did it shift it at all let me know talk to me y'all all right and before we go i just want to say something really quick as always I want to give you a word of inspiration, a word from the heart. So here it is. You are capable of doing anything that you put your mind through. You can literally like do whatever it is that you want to do. You can do it. You just have to make sure you're disciplined, put in that work. And most importantly, seek God and put him first. You can do it. Anything you want to do, you can do it. Always remember that. Okay. All right, and before we go again, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you want to see more videos like this. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, any other video uh, recommendations that you have, whatever. You just want to say hi, comment down below. Also, share this video, guys. Share my videos. It helps, okay? And check out my Instagram, my Kia Tache Lux page, and my personal page, Kia Tache. Reach out to me on social media. Talk to me. Um, you can also follow me on TikTok at Kia Tache. Whatever other social media platforms that you use, I probably have those too. So just reach out to me. Talk to me. I talk back. And I love making new friends, meeting new people. So guys, talk to me. Do not leave without subscribing, okay? And welcome to the sisterhood. All right, I'll see y'all next time. Love you.